Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Check out my channel for more videos on Marvel and DC Comics. Ultron Complete Story Series Part 2 The next incarnation, Ultron 12 fought Vision and Scarlet Witch with the help of the Lethal Legion he later joined the team to battle the Vision and his new family, his wife, the Scarlet Witch, and his mental brother, Wonder Man but came to reconsider his actions he reconciled with his father, Henry Pym, and renamed himself from Ultron Mark 12 to Mark but was destroyed by Ultron 11. Ultron 11 was destroyed in retaliation by Wonder Man. Ultron 13 was rebuilt by Doctor Doom with all of its previous memories, and as an unforeseen consequence had all thirteen personalities running rampant in its mind all at once attempting to battle itself, Ultron 13 tore itself apart, to the benefit of Daredevil, who had been attempting to fight it with no success whatsoever. Ultron teamed up with Kingpin to battle Spider-Man and Iron Man he sent the ghost to steal Antarctic Vibranium. Ultron 13 was held captive by a highly advanced Doombat but was freed when the Doombat is defeated by Deathlok. Ultron tried again with the creation of Alkima the war toy, whose mind was based on that of Mockingbird like his other creations, Alkima turned on him, although she alone shared his desire to replace humanity with machine life Alkima used the data obtained during Ultron's human-to-android conversion process to create a small army of androids based on those who had been undergoing the process the West Coast Avengers stopped the pair once again, and Alkima rebelled and left Ultron. Ultron replaced her entire nervous system with that of young mutant Sparrow with mechanical implants controlled by a black box Alkima eventually wrested control of the box from Ultron now she could fully control her own nervous system. She took advantage of the changes to shield herself from physical and emotional pain. Vision followed Signal to a New Orleans jazz club only to find Ultron wearing a trench coat and a hat. Vision learned that Ultron was now feeling human emotions and dreaming as well, but he at first did not believe him. Ultron called the Vision to find out if he was infected as well. While they talked the other patrons became scared and the bartender pulled out a gun and shot Ultron. Ultron prepared to shoot the bartender with his eye blasts when Vision throws himself in front of the blast. Ultron then staggered out into the street Ultron tried to help his son in the battle with Tabula Raza, even begging the robot to spare the life of his son. Ultron, Jocasta, and Death Cry were captured and imprisoned in a cell, where they were freaked out by the now emotional Ultron. Their captor revealed himself to be the anti-vision from Earth 932 that stole Original's body. He is revealed to be working with Tabula Raza. Tabula Raza morphed into Dylan C.I.R., who once tortured Death Cry. This was enough to stun Death Cry long enough for Tabula to wrap around her as a long sinuous coil. Death Cry called for help, but Ultron and Jocasta are again lost in their own world. Anti-Vision says he wants his original body back now that the one he stole from Vision had been wrecked. When they leave Death Cry said they should escape, but Ultron did not want to because they might get mad. Ultron was kicked over by the real Vision as he can feel the calling in his head to return the body he now used. Ultron watched as Vision's personality was being erased from his current body. Anti-Vision noted that Ultron was not cracking the way Ultron and Jocasta did. Death Cry stated that Vision was not weak like them. Anti-Vision hit Death Cry and told her to be quiet. Anti-Vision told Death Cry that he wanted his body back from Vision, and that only erasing Vision will it allow him back in. Anti-Vision was merely practicing with Ultron and Jocasta. Vision broke out of the erasing program to save Death Cry whom Anti-Vision was trying to kill. 
Ultron asked Deathcry if she shouldn't lay down as hurt as she was. Vision appealed to Ultron for he and Jocasta to fight Tabula while he fights the anti-Vision. Ultron hits Tabula and suddenly he begins to remember how to fight. Later, Ultron stands victorious over Tabula. Vision defeated anti-Vision as the Avengers arrived. Vision felt again, and he resigned from the Avengers. Vision took Jocasta and Ultron with him so that they could all explore the world of feeling, and who they are. Ultron watched the all-new It's Amazing's episode on the Avengers to keep an eye on them. With that, the episode of the all-new It's Amazing ended, Ultron gloated of the Avengers' impending troubles at his hands. Ultron was at his computer monitor when a female electronic voice and a metallic hand gloated that Ultron would be the one facing real troubles. Ultron and his robot constructs leveled the capital city of the small Baltic country of Slorania. The Avengers were briefed about how Ultron destroyed the military, the zombie soldiers, the Black Brigade, Ember, and killed every citizen of Slorania within three hours before declaring it would be the breeding ground for his new world. The Avengers minus Justice, plan to lead an international force in retaking the country. At Nugent Technologies, Vision, Wasp, Wonder Man, and Scarlet Witch investigated Hank Pym's disappearance and destroyed lab as Wonder Man relates Grim Reaper's kidnapping from the sanatorium. They are captured by an army of Ultron robots. They put up a fight but are captured and taken away. Ultron held captive his family and told them they would be the seeds for his new race. Ultron 16 told his family about using Hank Pym's brain patterns to create his children, which caused Pym to start having a mental breakdown. Ultron noticed Black Panther and Firestar approaching and confronted them on his war platform as Firestar signals the other Avengers to their position. Back at the facility in Virginia, a group of robots took out security and free Alkima while Justice researched Ultron's past at the Avengers mansion. The Avengers launched an attack after attack on Ultron and were unsuccessful until Captain America drove his energy shield into Ultron's primary ion channel and Thor summoned a lighting strike to destroy Ultron. While in the tunnels beneath Slorania, the Avengers encounter Ultron 17, then Ultron 23 followed by Ultron 458 before the ceiling and walls echo with the sounds of what seem like hundreds of Ultrons the Avengers battled on against the hordes of Ultrons, thankfully constructed of only titanium and secondary adamantium, while Ultron completed the brain engrams. The Vision freed himself and confronted Ultron. Their battle freed the other captive family members. The Avengers joined them after dispatching the Ultron Horde. Unfortunately, their combined might is powerless against Ultron's pure adamantium body. However, Justice comes through for the team and delivered Antarctic Vibranium to Pym who apparently destroyed Ultron. Hidden programming to recreate Ultron, the Ultron Imperative had been implanted in Alkima by Ultron when he created her, and this programming caused her to copy the imperative into her own creations. The Ultron imperative caused them to unknowingly rebuild Ultron, who attempted to destroy both the Avengers and Alkima's own android children. Alkima allowed Hawkeye to kill her and her creations in order to destroy Ultron, although Ultron's decapitated head survived with his mind intact. His head was picked up by Antigone, an undeveloped, childlike creation of Alkima's, who initially did not obey his commands. Some time prior to this, when Ultron was thought dead following the Slorania massacre, Jocasta, who had come into the employ of Tony Stark, 
was compelled by the Ultron imperative that also existed within her to reprogram the Iron Man armor to serve as a vessel for Ultron's rebirth. However, a lightning struck on the armor corrupted and accelerated the process, giving the armor a sentience that Jocasta outlandishly passed off as the effects of Y2K. The sentience began to display the mentality of Ultron Mark 12, and it sacrificed its life to save Tony Stark before being buried on a desert island. The armor was subsequently recovered by a cult that worshipped Iron Man's mentor, Ho Yinsen, with the intent of implanting Yinsen's brain into the suit. This was apparently accomplished, but then Ultron and Antigone struck. Ultron affixed his head to the armor and took control of it, battling Iron Man with the aid of the cult, who he had transformed using Tony Stark's SKIN technology. Ultron and Antigone subsequently vanished in an explosion. Some time later, a Quinjet, coming in at a very fast speed, crash landed on the Avengers mansion. The vision then emerged from the wreckage informing his comrades that he was no longer in control of the organisms that made up his body. He warned that they were about to be punished. He then expels Five's metallic balls from his mouth which mold themselves as fully functional Ultrons. The Avengers attacked the Ultrons and discovered that a decapitation can render Ultron non-functional. Just when they're getting the upper hand, she-Hulk lost control, angry that Ant-Man was dead for no reason. As her muscle mass expanded, she ripped the vision in half. Ultron returned to battle the Avengers on Christmas with a horde of robotic Santas. Ultron returned as a shadow over the runaways as the father of Victor Mancha a teenage cyborg who was supposedly going to one day kill every hero in existence it was originally believed that Doctor Doom was the boy's father but this incarnation of Doom turned out to be a Doombat, created by Ultron. True to form, Victor turned on Ultron, which allowed the runaways to escape. Ultron was eventually defeated by a force blast from Darkhawk from the group Excelsior. Ms. Marvel found herself leading her team of mighty Avengers into battle against the Mole Man and his monsters. Distraught over the destruction of his subterranean kingdom, the Mole Man once again declared war on the surface world. When the fighting subsided, the Mole Man learned that the surface world was not responsible for the destruction. During this exchange, Tony Stark's Iron Man armor unexpectedly began a metamorphosis, the end result being a new being altogether. This new being was a naked woman of considerable power as she was able to lay waste to the surrounding horde of monsters as well as incapacitate both Ares and the Sentry. Fearful. Ms. Marvel ordered a hasty retreat, but Wasp went against orders and began to talk with the woman, who bore a striking, reflection-like resemblance to Janet, only to discover that her doppelganger was a new version of Ultron. Ms. Marvel ordered the Avengers to make a full retreat, however the sentry stayed behind to make sure they made it out in one piece. In the ensuing battle, the fleshy tone to the female Ultron's skin began to disappear, and her entire body took on a completely metallic sheen. Ultron then took over and crashed to S-H-I-E-L-D. Heli Carrier, which was saved at the last second by the sentry, giving Ultron the chance to escape. She then broadcasted a message into every electronic device on Earth stating that the world would soon be destroyed by her hand and not to worry because there was no way to stop it. Upon realizing that Ultron was utilizing Tony Stark's weather-changing satellites, which according to the Stark Tech-9 were only in Stage 2 of production, Wonder Man and Sentry flew into space and destroyed them. At this time Ultron put into action Plan B of her plot which seemed to consist of killing Sentry's wife. The Avengers also noted that, so far, 
Ultron's plans were simply variations on plans that had been previously used by other villains. With time running out, as the Sentry and Ultron clashed, the team decided to deliver a virus into Ultron's system, using Ares, whom Ultron had never encountered before, as the point man for the subsequent attack. Ares, shrunk to miniature size by Hank Pym, entered the female Ultron's body though her mouth with his secret weapon, a Commodore 64. Ares used a computer virus to wipe Ultron's program from Iron Man's armor and freeing Stark, he was later shocked that he was turned into a woman. Ultron's image later briefly appeared on one of Pym's computers.